LeBron James makes nasty allegation about what Trump is using professional sports to do. LeBron James went after President Donald Trump and accused him of trying to divide the country. James stated that Trump was using sports as his focal point. That statement is odd coming from the guy who constantly switches teams and essentially divides himself among players, fans, and cities during his time in the NBA. James, now on the LA Lakers, made it seem like Trump is trying to capitalize on all the nonsense that surrounded Colin Kaepernick and the take a knee protests that went on during games as people abused the highly paid platforms of their ritzy sports career. This came as James was talking to CNN about opening his I Promise school in his hometown. There wasn't much need to bring up Trump when talking about opening a school of any sort, but the professional star basketball player went there and made it seem like Trump is purposely trying to divide people. That does not appear to be true for many others and could be more of an opinion from James. Many others might feel the opposite of James in that some people have felt united with the exception of those on the far right and far left who always seem to disagree. Many in the middle are likely not feeling divided unless the conversation involves extremists. When it comes to dividing people and sports, the NFL players who were taking a knee during the national anthem were quite divisive towards their fans, many of whom are all about loving their country. If anything, it might be the athletes who protested during entertainment, sports who could be responsible for being divisive. The measure of which could be higher or lower depending on whom is discussing the protests that happened. Some fans didn't care, but many distanced themselves from the game due to the divisiveness of the protests. Trump is, dividing us and what I've noticed over the last few months, James told CNN before the official opening of his I Promise school in his hometown of Akron, Ohio. He's kinda used sport to kinda divide us, and that's something that I can't relate to because I know that sport was the first time I ever was around someone white and I got the opportunity to see them and learn about them and they got an opportunity to learn about me and we became very good friends. He continued. Sports has never been something that divides people it's always been something that brings someone together. The three-time NBA champion was also asked whether he'd sit down with Trump, who James once called a bum for a disinviting Golden State Warriors star Stephen Curry from the White. I would never sit across from him. I'd sit across from Barack though, he replied. James opened up the I Promise School on Monday, describing it as the most meaningful moment of his career. He told ESPN he wants to create an environment of family and not like a workplace. Sometimes you can get tired if you look at it like work, you kind of get tired of it. We want to create an environment of family where you want to always be around your family, he said. Lebron James' comments about not sitting across from Donald Trump is the biggest problem of his entire conversation. The fact that Lebron wouldn't sit across from Trump is the biggest problem. James' arrogance and ignorance are more of a problem that divides people. Instead of sitting with the president and having a discussion about what bothers him, he states that he wouldn't sit with Trump but would sit with Obama instead. James doesn't realize it, but he's being more divisive than anything by pitting Trump against Obama and talking about Trump in the first place. It's like Lebron hates Trump so much and has to bring him into the conversation for no reason. What does Trump have to do with Lebron James opening a school? Nothing. So why would Lebron start talking about Trump then? Does Lebron dislike Trump that much that he would bring him into every chat? It makes no sense, but when Lebron said he wouldn't even sit with Trump, then that's where people might be able to find some real divisiveness. If you have a problem with someone, but won't sit with them to talk about it, then you're divided. Note from the editor. The views and opinions expressed in this article are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the position of this website or of the owners, administrators of where this article is shared online. Claims made in this piece are based on the author's own opinion and not stated as evidence or fact. Or fact.